Michigan offers something for just about everyone, from fascinating cultural attractions in its bustling cities to a myriad of outdoor adventures in some of the most stunning areas of the country. To experience the best it has to offer, consider visiting some of these standout places. Ann Arbor, home to the University of Michigan, enjoys magnificent views of the Huron River. And during the warmer months it provides a wealth of fun outdoor adventures like canoeing, hiking natural trails alongside the water, and picnics on its banks. The city's main street is often ranked as one of the best in the country. It is lined with a wide variety of stores, boutiques and galleries, along with restaurants and cafes to suit every taste. Frankenmuth is known as Michigan's Little Bavaria. This captivating old world German town hosts the world's largest Christmas store, Bronner's Christmas Wonderland, and visitors can also enjoy its Frankenian style structures, a wealth of museums and attending festivals with a big German influence. Frankenmuth also plays host to the Bavarian Fest, the World Expo of Beer, Oktoberfest, and the Snowfest. The creatively crafted exhibits at the Castle Museum of Saginaw County reveal how a 19th century French-style castle that once housed a post office became a fantastic place to find out about the area's history. Isle Royal National Park includes Isle Royale, the largest island in Lake Superior, as well as some 450 smaller surrounding islands. There are no permanent residents on Alroyd now, unless you count the animals. Its diverse array of wildlife includes moose, wolves and a wide variety of other mammals, fish, reptiles and amphibians. The island is only open to the public during the warmer months of the year, typically between April and October, and to get there, you'll need to take a ferry or a seaplane. Once you've arrived, you'll have the chance to immerse yourself in nature by hiking kayaking, boating, fishing or camping. Mickinac Island looks like it came out of the pages of a storybook. This is spot where motorized vehicles are prohibited and folks get around on horse-drawn carriages and bicycles. Catch an art show, paddle a kayak out on the bay, get your groove on to live bands or just relax to the peaceful sounds of the waves that gently lap the shore. If you want to explore the lesser-known areas of the island with a local, consider taking Mary Pat as Mackinac Island's Legends and Lore Trek. Marquette is located in the Upper Peninsula alongside Lake Superior and boasts many different parks, two popular beaches and the opportunity for lots of recreational activities like golf, biking and fishing in the warmer months, and skiing in the winter. The town has even been named the top biking destination in the country. Whether you're a road or mountain enthusiast, it offers lots of trails, including the 17-mile Marquette City Bike Path, an urban gem that's decidedly unurban, the Iron or Heritage Trail, a challenging route that offers a cross-section of Marquette County scenery, history and culture, as well as the Elk Walls Red and Blue Trails which afford views of rugged rock formations dense forest glades, and Teal Lake. Munising, a small town located on the southern shore of Lake Superior in Michigan's gorgeous Upper Peninsula, is the gateway to the stunning pictured rocks National Seashore. If you're looking for a place to take tranquil strolls along moss-covered paths, Listening to the thundering sound of falling water across a brilliant blue lake, this is one of best destinations in the state to do just that. Munising is home to 15 waterfalls, 5 lighthouses and many beautiful recreation areas. Muskegon is the largest city on the western shores of Lake Michigan, and it boasts 26 miles of sandy beach. 
The area is home to multiple historical lighthouses, along with two state parks, including Hoffmaster State Park. The park offers outdoor activities like dune climbing, hiking and camping. Muskegon also features multiple museums and historical attractions, like the Hackley Hume Historic Site which is made up of restored mansions. Just a few miles outside of the city is the state's largest amusement park, Michigan's Adventure. Set on the shores of Lake Michigan's Little Traverse Bay in the northwest region of the state, this coastal dream town, as named by Coastal Living magazine, is filled with locally owned shops, gourmet eateries and a variety of attractions. It's also famous for its magnificent architecture with Victorian-style homes and cottages. If you visit in August, you can enjoy the festival on the bay, which hosts music, competitive games, children's activities and a promenade with vendors from some of the best local restaurants. Any time of the year it offers spectacular sunsets and mesmerizing views from the marina. Located in the heart of the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore in the northwest region of Michigan's Lower Peninsula sits the quaint town of Glen Arbor. It is a great place to base or stay and enjoy all of the breathtaking scenery and activities the area has to offer. Named by Good Morning America as the most beautiful place in America, you'll find lush forests, picturesque beaches and giant sand dunes. In fact, there are no sand dunes like these to be found anywhere else. They tower over the glistening blue waters, some over 450 feet high, providing jaw-dropping views of the lakes and the islands from the top. Traverse City is a hub of arts entertainment, hosting the National Cherry Festival annually in July, as well as the Traverse City Film Festival, a 6 day event held in July each year founded by Michael Moore that highlights documentaries, indie films and the people who work so hard to create them. Wine enthusiasts will appreciate the two peninsulas just north of the city that host nearly 30 wineries, while brew lovers will find a number of outstanding breweries for beer tasting.